If you're using an AI writer to help you with writing blog content, maybe you've noticed that sometimes the output isn't always great. Maybe it's not factually correct or it's giving information that doesn't really make sense. There's a couple of tricks that you can use to feed the AI specific information to help you with writing factually correct content and technical content. Let's dive into how to do that. So let's say I'm working on an article and the information that I'm getting from the AI when I'm generating paragraphs is not factually correct or it's just not a great output. One of the things you can do is feed the AI specific information and details that you want it to use. So let's say I want to generate a paragraph about the Razer Black Shark version 2 headset. What I can do is go to a website that's talking about the actual product, copy some of these bits of information, and then paste it in here and then write a command, write a paragraph, write a paragraph about why the Razer Black Shark V2 is the best headset for experienced gamers using the details above. And I'm going to select this, hit command, and there we go. So we can see that now the AI has used these details in this paragraph. Another way that you can do this is to just give it a more specific command based on the information you want it to use. Let's take another example. So let's say I'm working on this article and it's about different email marketing software. And in this case, I know a lot about MailChimp because this is a niche that I talk about. So I'm gonna tell the AI, write two paragraphs Write two paragraphs about MailChimp and why it's great for small businesses and include details about their affordable pricing plans for small business and their integrations with popular, actually their free integrations with popular CRMs like HubSpot. So I'm telling the AI, okay, there's details I know about MailChimp, but I want it to fill in the gaps. So I'm going to select this and hit command. So here it's given me two paragraphs and I can see that it's mentioned the pricing plans and it's talking about how it's affordable for small businesses and it's talking about integrations and it's also included additional things. So these are some of the ways that you can feed the AI information so that you get a more factual and better output. And there you have it. That's how you can generate factually correct content by feeding the AI specific information. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave us any questions you have in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a future video. And if you have any questions, hit us up on social media and make sure you join our Facebook group to connect with other people learning and working towards building their blog and generating 10,000 or more per month from their blog.